Hello everyone, my name is Rainer and welcome back to another episode of Luxury Utopia in Oxygen Not Included. In the last episode we dug out all of Frigani, which I will show in a second. Um, and this episode we have to work on the important changes that are right now on the screen. So there have been there has been a patch and there has been an update on how critters work. So we have critter moods now, where you want to avoid them from being miserable, uh, because that stops reproduction. They will not lay eggs if they're miserable. The big one that I want to address in this episode is the Pakus. Um, there have been a couple of bug fixes, and well, Pakus are now confined when flopping in, uh, in less than eight when flopping or in less than eight tiles of liquid, which we have. Um, they are easy to feed due to a rebalanced diet. Okay, we are not feeding them anyway. And we have some suit checkpoints. They now have an automation port, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, we have some things to fix. So let's look at the automation wires first. Let's have this run first. So automation, we now have here green signal enable or disable building. I see. I don't think we have a problem with that. I don't want to disable these, but maybe in the rockets, at some point I want to do something with this. But right now I don't want to do things with that yet. Now we have of course here a um, ranch with our glossy Dracos. Uh, these Dracos are happy. They have a reproduction rate of plus 900%. Same groomed. And I think we can add a couple more. So I think now we're going to set this to eight. And I'm going to add two more glossy Dracos. And I'm going to look for some younger ones. So let's move that one over. And I'm going to add one more. This one is two. Let's bring that one over as well. And that will be this farm. Um, we disbanded the hatch farm already. We have some. Cuddle pips and regular pips here, which are now miserable. So they don't have a reproduction anymore. Reproduction rate minus 100%. They're crowded. Happiness minus 12. Oh, actually, that's. I think minus 10 is the maximum um, until which they become miserable. But uh, I'm just going to open this up. So I'm just going to open here one tile and then they can walk around around it and they will be fine. The Pacus, however, we have a bigger issue because we have here 16 plus 4 is 20 and we have another 19 here. So I have 39 uh, and they are all miserable. So they are right now not laying any more eggs. We have to make, first of all, a bigger uh, pond for them to swim in. What do I have here? Oh, I have the eggs in here as well. I see. Uh, so we have to make a bigger pond for them, but also multiple of those. Because, well, we cannot have too many in one pond because they will be miserable and they will not lay eggs anymore. So this is not self-sustaining anymore as it was before. So I am actually going to do that. Let me first look here what we have. Um, we have super hard digging, quick run, stylish, gourmet. Yeah, let's just take these eggs and just crack them. Shine Nymph. Let's crack three eggs. Um, and then we're going to look at these Baku. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go at the bottom here. And I'm going to make a couple of ponds. Uh, as I said, they have to be eight big. Uh, I'm going to make them out of regular tiles, I think. Uh, and we're going to use granite because we have so much of that. So we're going to make it four wide and two high. Um, of course, we have to put water in it. So we're going to add some bottle emptiers on top. Actually, the bottom one, I need power in here because we're going to automate it a bit. So we're going to make a joint plate there and then some cables up. Heavy world conductive wire. Let's bring that all the way up to here. Whoa. Not there. And that should be the power in here. We can remove these letters because that's not what we need. 
And then above here, we can make another um, pond. So let me build this first and then I'll be back. All right, this is ready. So now we can start putting water in here as a six and copy to here. And then we're going to automate this a little bit. For that, we need, um, let me see, we need a critter sensor. Let's find that somewhere because we want to um, make sure that there's automatically not too many in there. So we're going to make a critter sensor. Let's make it out of gold there. Um, then I need some shipping stuff. So we're going to have a conveyor chute. Let's put that here. We're going to have a auto sweeper. Let's put it here. It's going to be all in the water, so that's fine. And we're going to have some conveyor loader. And that's going to be like this. Then we need some power cables in there as well power everything that's why we have this here and we're just going to do that like this then some automation i want to control when this chute is open but also when the auto sweeper is active so when we have uh, a certain amount of critters i want to open the chute and disable the auto sweeper so it doesn't take out new stuff so I'm going to bring that to here. Then I have a knot, uh, knot gates. We're going to bring the cable into here and then to the auto sweeper. So if we have not enough critters in here, the auto sweeper will not bring the eggs out. That's basically what I want to achieve. And I think that's already most of it. So conveyor rails. Uh, we're gonna make it out of we're gonna make it out of niobium. Eh, we don't have that much of it yet. Let's make it out of iron ore for now. We will come down. So I want to make a loop. Huh? So if we have too many eggs here, it has to go to a different pond. Into a pond that doesn't have too many eggs. And basically the fish will shuffle around a bit. So from this one, I'm going to go up. Um no, I'm actually going to go to the right because we will have more of these ponds on top here and I don't want to go through this outport. So we're going to go up. I don't know how high yet. And from here, we're just going to go down again into the chutes. And if the chute is closed, I want it to overflow and go through here again. Something like that. All right. So on top of here, we're going to have another one of these. Uh, let me already start by making that. I think I can make it at this layer, actually. And then here's where the next power thingy will be. Here will be the tiles. But I'm going to wait making those until we have the water in. Uh, let me actually make sure that I don't get any messes here. So let's do it like this for now. And then on top, we can have our critter sensor there. We can have our shoot there. We can have our knot gate like so. We can have our auto sweeper there and our conveyor loader there. And then we can also get the rails in like so. Automation wire out of gold down uh, over and into there. So that should be the next layer as well. I'm going to work on the bottom one first. Um, and then well, the, I want to have some water in here. We can actually already start bringing some fish over. So they will not be, well, they will still be confined because we have too many. Uh, we don't have enough water, I mean. So let's start bringing some fish over. And let's start with the younger ones. Uh, let's move. And I'm going to bring nine fish over for now. Okay, I don't know how many I moved, but uh, let's let them work on this for a bit. I'm going to make the move commands also a six, so they will actually do it. And in the end, we'll, we will need to have enough water in here. And then, of course, to get everything to work, we need to close off these rooms. But I will do that once these uh, bottle antiers are out. I can make 
uh, pneumatic doors here to get everything closed off. But yeah, first some water. And then this one I'm gonna set to uh, make it green if we are below 9 or I think 10 would be okay. And I think we only need to have a little bit in the second layer, so we don't need to waste too much water. Although we have plenty of water, of course. Okay. That is all in. And then this conveyor loader can be um, not allow manual use. And then crit eggs. We're going to have all the tropical fry egg and the regular fry egg in here. Is there another fry? Regular fry, gulp fry, okay, all of those will go in there. Oh, yeah, and here the power wires we can also put in, of course, for the next one. Okay, the fissure in here, they are still confined and miserable because, yeah, they still don't have eight tiles of water. But uh, we're getting close. Once this reaches 1,000, we will have sufficient water in this pond because it will start filling the next four tiles and we can stop adding water into these ones. Okay, that's gonna bring us to 900. We need two more and then, well, I guess the three more. 950, 1000, and our fish are now glum. Okay, so we can stop this one. And once this one is empty, I can also stop this one because we have sufficient water now. Okay. Um, deconstruct these two. And how many fish do we have in here? We cannot see that right now because we have uh, everything open. But uh, let's add this here. Let's add some more granite tiles. And then we can also add the pneumatic doors. Like so. And that should separate this room from the rest. And we will have a finalized room. Let's give the hurry up for these here. Still 59. Well, we had 66 before. Okay, now we have three. And I think we have two move commands, but sometimes they overlap. So we should get in more of those. Um, Glum, we have crowded happiness minus two. So we can put more fish in there, actually. So let's do that. Oh, we have just born ones. Perfect. Let's put it in there. So I think that is five more moves. And I can just open these doors. They don't have to be closed. Uh, on top of here, we can remove these ladders, of course. And we can do the next bottle emptiers for the next room. Add in the water. Enable auto bottle and copy. And these are now going to reproduce because they would just eat less or they produce less. I don't know what they would produce actually. Uh, I think they don't produce. Do they produce polluted dirt or something like that when they eat? Something like that. But uh, that doesn't really matter. Why is this water not coming over here? Interesting. Is that too much cut? Well, that's weird. The water is not going here? How does that work? Um, what the heck? That is so weird. It's gonna be 500? I guess a little bit more. What? Anywho, um, we moved everything in. We had minus seven and we have now eight critters in here. So we can add two more. Let's do that. Move. There. And move. Or we're gonna leave. No, we're gonna do 10. Uh, we had eight. We had eight. So we can do two more. And then if we get more, then we should start uh, closing this one. It's now open. So the shoot is enabled. 
and the auto sweeper is disabled and once we have yeah less once we have more than this will enable and it will bring the fish out indeed so this will be some kind of cycle uh let's make it a little bit higher and i'm gonna go down from here something like that but yeah i wonder how this will look if this will get to one a thousand kilograms this is very odd i hope this water is not just disappearing into the ether but yeah we can also start bringing in fish here yeah we're getting close yeah this water is going in here so that's good ah finally now it's uh and now it's also not overflowing okay 800 so this is gonna be 850 yeah we can stop this almost already again and we can make some additional tiles above here uh this is gonna be the bottom layer so these and we're gonna make another one of these on top so we have the shoots i'm making the shoot out of steel uh, let's not do that. That's a little bit ridiculous. Rid of Sansa out of gold is fine. But the shoot out of steel is a little bit much uh, heavy. What wire? We can do that like that. Bear shoots. We're going to make that out of iron ore. Iron ore. Iron ore. Okay. It's out of gold. This is out of iron. Okay, whatever. Should be fine. Uh, and then we need some cables, of course. And the knot gates. Uh, knot goes there. And then the automation wire can go like so again. Uh, we have now sufficient water in here, so we can disable these. And deconstruct. We can make our doors. And additional tiles and so forth and so forth and this has to be connected okay so here we have now four when here we have ten and these critters are crowded happiness minus nine yeah that's fine i think minus ten is where they become to become miserable so i'm gonna also copy these settings of course here we still see a lot more uh, but here we only have four, so we can add six more of these Haku in there. Let's do that before they die. And six. Are they actually fine? Because it seems that we have carbon dioxide here. It is still miserable. We need more water. Jesus Christ. What is going on with this game? Why is this not... Maybe if I change this into an airflow tile, it's going to be okay. But yeah, that's a bit of a mess. Let's, uh, let's change this into an airflow tile for now. And then change it back, I guess. It's quick. I'm going to have a bit of water on the floor. But uh, at least this will push out the carbon dioxide that's here. I don't understand exactly why that's happening. That's very odd. Can add in these here. Okay, that is now good. Then let's move this back. That's gonna lose us a bit of water, I guess. Or is it gonna be fast enough? Maybe it is. Probably not. Oh, it is. And we have two separate tiles here. Okay, whatever. Something is really odd with this game today. Uh, let's set this to a 7 water copy to here. We're going to get more water in this one. And do the same again. So that's 3. I think we're going to make one more. Conveyor loader there. Auto sweep up there. Not gate there. We're going to have a critter sensor. And a shoot there. That will be 4. Oh, we're going to make one more. Maybe I'll make one more. J 
just to be sure. So we're gonna have one more here, there, and then the same thing. Uh, just the ladders need to go. Yeah, that cannot be built right now. Because we have ladders there. And we can actually already build these on top. And then these have to go a little bit more up. And we can get rid of these conveyor rails here. Okay. Oh, we're actually <laughs> supplying the materials with this auto sweeper. Nice. But yeah, first we need to fill this up with water. That's actually the slowest part, the water itself. I guess well, we can also drop it from here. Ah, it's okay. Let's make this an 8. And we have some new printables. Let's see what's coming out of here. Not amazing stuff let's get the ice and move the ice sweep it and it will go into our ice storage okay we're not getting oh outer bottle is off jesus that's why it took so long <clears throat> are you jesus christ that was a bit silly anyway we can make these as well uh, that one we cannot make. Deconstruct this, please. Uh, actually, no, leave it. Uh, it's not necessary to deconstruct. Let's copy the settings to there. We can make some more bottle emptiers there. Okay, this one is working properly. Good. Uh, we have here nine, so we can add one more fish. Let's move in here. And then... It should go from red and this enabled to, yeah, the other way around. Perfect. Uh, we should open the doors here as well. Open and open. And then we can start moving more fish into the next one. As you can see, we have still plenty of fish. Uh, still eight here. All right, this one is ready, so we can add some more doors. This thing, files there and there, and also there once this one is gone. And then this room is also ready. Okay, national door, and a tile there. Wait, we already have a fry egg here. Oh, because one of these laid an egg, I guess. So it already went up and went into here because the room was not full. Uh, it's already also not set correctly. So that's also why. Uh, so now they close because the rooms are not done yet. Um, open this door and we start delivering water in these. Take auto bottle, copy settings there. Well, we need to do this one first, actually. I don't want to see water in here yet. Please, no water yet. Okay, now we can have water. Copy there. Okay. Open. And now we have 10 in here, actually. 10, 10, 10. Perfect. Uh, and here we have, well, we have one egg, I guess. Let's set this to above so it stays open. If we have an egg, it can go in here. And let's bring in some more fish. How many do we have left here? It looks like nine and an egg. So is one additional room enough? I think I'm going to add one more, actually. Yeah. Let's remove these ladders. I guess leave one, this one. Otherwise, they'll get stuck. And then we can do this. And then we once again have to raise this up a bit so that it is out of the blocking area. We're going to add one more. And that should suffice. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, pawns of maximum 10 fish, 60. Yeah, we can always extend this, I guess, if we need to. 
I don't know how many are here. One, two, three, four. There's also move commands. Mm, I don't know. While we're waiting for this to fill up, um, in the meantime, while I was bringing home my rockets, this volcano also started erupting. And as you can see, this system is now working very nicely. We're heating up this here. It goes in here and this uh, and enables the steam room. And we already have five tons of niobium here. Uh, and yeah, you can see this volcano. It gives a lot of material. You can see there's 3,800 kilograms here in one tile. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit hot. But yeah, this will just run in the background. And every now and then we can pick up the niobium here. And Frigani, as I mentioned in the last episode, we opened it up. Uh, we dug everything out, as you can see. And we're just waiting for this to off-gas until we go there. Maybe at the end of the episode, we will go here with some material. So we can start um, taming these iron volcanoes, these four, so we can get some extra iron. Um, working on this one doesn't really uh, work yet because we don't have sufficient uh, um, portals yet. So we need to add some additional portals before we can use this. But uh, yeah, it's also not that important, to be honest, to start working on this. Let's go back here. We can see, okay, this is already filled up. So we took a little bit too long already, uh, but it doesn't matter. Having a little bit extra water in there doesn't hurt. It's 150 kilograms. Okay. So we can deconstruct these again. <clears throat> then we can add in the tiles. Oh, add in the tiles. Uh, remove that here. Let's see here. So, and two doors. And now once this is all in, we can start with the next one. Water, enable auto bottle as a nine and copy. <clears throat> and let's open these up. All right, so now we have seven in here. We can add three more. We have one. Yeah, we have elderly. I mean, we're almost done. <clears throat> So two more farms is fine. Then it can cycle around. Um, this one is also quite old. So there's two. We need one more. Uh, this one has a move commands. Let's move one of these here to there. And then the last one, we can move to the other spots. That one has its own fish tank. Let's see, conveyor loader, we also need to put in here. We have to connect the rail up. And do we have the power in? We do. We can also set up the power here. Set up the conveyor loader there. Uh, we can remove these rails. Rails. Like so. <clears throat> Sensor and some automation wire. So, and a not gate there. All right. Copy this and this. Uh, below 10, be above 10. Below 10. Yeah, we need to have everything below 10. Up. Like this. Yeah, this one is above 10 because we uh, have still an open room here. But that's fine. Oh, we need to set a direction. Uh, is that a problem? It is going in there. Wait. Why is this in a... Something is wrong. We are below 10, so we have this open. Why is this auto sweeper? Oh, this is enabled because we are at 10. But it doesn't disable immediately or something. What, what is going on? But yeah, we need to set a direction here. This is not okay. Uh, shipping. Conveyor bridge, let's set this like so, and then cut off these two, and then conveyor rail deconstruct. Uh, here we shouldn't forget this and this. And now it's just gonna go through 
because there's nowhere to place it. Uh, so this one here, I'm going to set to above for now. That way it opens up and the fish can come in here because this one is definitely not full. Um, so the fry eggs will come in here. Okay. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. I'm going to add in the tiles again. We can build the doors. And we need to have one of these and a tile there. Oh, now we are picking this up. So below 10, I want this to open up. Okay, so those are going to cycle around again. It should fall in here again. <clears throat> okay, so I think we should be okay. Although, I don't know how many eggs we'll have at the same time. Maybe we need a little bit more of these um, to absorb the eggs. Maybe? I don't know for sure. Let's add in some water here. Enable auto bottle. Copy. <clears throat> then we're going to make the roof uh, like so. <clears throat> we have also an issue here with these here. These are all miserable, but I don't think it really matters. Let me see which one is quite old. So they don't produce new eggs. These, but I also don't think they're getting very old. Yeah, starving. 10 cycles. So they get to 37. And I think they lay an egg at like 100 or something like that. Uh, if they're tame. So it shouldn't be a big issue that these are miserable. Which sounds harsh, but uh, yeah. So do we want to make these rooms pretty? <clears throat> Maybe I'm going to add some wallpaper in there. Uh, or pixel packs. That's a little bit ex excessive, I think. Um, wallpaper. Out of not nuclear waste, not diamonds. Copper. Let's do some golden uh, wallpaper. Nah, that's also a little bit excessive, right? Tungsten. Plastic. Ice doesn't work. Maybe some salt. Let's see how that looks. Because we will have quite a bit of salt due to our desalinator. So that's how, let's see how that works. And if these melt or something. Because salt and water, well, um, <clears throat> typically doesn't go that well together. So this, oh, this melts at 800 degrees. This shouldn't be an issue. Uh, but it's not the prettiest color. But oh well, let's just do that. Okay. So we can deconstruct this again. <clears throat> then add the tiles and the doors. And then this room should also be done. Uh, below 10 is fine. Should be zero in there. Let's add in the doors. Make sure they're open and then we're going to clean everything up. And then our fish tower is ready for here. So they're taking up a little bit more room than they did in the past. But, um, I mean, it's not too bad. Let's clean it up. And it also means that we can deconstruct this a bit. Uh, let me see. Let's deconstruct that and that. And then we can put in a pitcher pump to remove the water here. Plumbing, uh, pitcher pump. Then let's just bring it over to here. Uh, enable auto bottle. But then I only want to do that for the regular water. But um, does that work? Maybe I'm just going to have to pipe it over. Where's the closest pipe? There it is. Yeah, let's just do it like that. Deconstructs. We're gonna have some temporary plumbing. Let's just uh, move it here. And then we're gonna have a liquid pump there. Liquid pipe. Like so. <clears throat> and then we need power, of course. Let's just bring that from here. 
and then go down. I think it's there. Then we'll empty this up and uh, yeah, remove all of this. What is the problem? It's a nine to deconstruct. Ah, there we go. Finally, a uh, liquid pump here. And then let's see the power. Oh, it's actually one too high, but that's also fine. Not a super big deal. Pipe blocked. Yeah, we still have to build them. Uh, and I think I'm actually going to just jump into the pipe. All right, we already have six in here. So that's because of all the fry eggs. Uh, why is this? We are below 10. Yeah, it is green. Okay. It's open and it's enabled, yeah. But we don't have any fry eggs here yet. I need to keep an eye in here if I need to add some more on top. Of course, that's easy to do. Yeah, should be fairly easy. We have some, we have plenty of space here actually to add more of these Paku farms. Um, but yeah, pretty nice construction if I say so myself. So let's prepare as well for Frigani. Let me see what I have in here. Um, we have rat pills, which we don't really need anymore. We have diamonds, aluminum, gold. Uh, that's good for the power cables and the uh, cooling. We have some steel. It's good for aqua tuner. Some plastic, which we need. Gold amalgam with 20 tons of iron ore, which is good for our um, conveyor rails. What we really need is some water and some super coolants. So let's do that the same as before. We're gonna disable the water in here and the super coolants here. And then we're just gonna drop. Let me see. Am I going to do it here? Yeah, I'm going to do it. No, I'm going to make a new one. Up. Like here. And then we're going to create some 200 liter, or 200 kilogram bottles of water and super coolant, which we can bring over. I think we're going to use some 3 tons of super coolant, which is quite a lot. And actually water we don't really need, right? Because you have ice there. Yeah, we're just going to bring super coolants and quite a bit of it so as before i'm gonna just do an enable audible high priority and i'm just gonna disable this again once they come over with the bottle so disable then i can bring this uh cancel sweeping move to there and then we do that over again ah Oh, yeah, we also have this problem here. Um, this is overheating, and that's because I didn't add any cooling. And this, of course, is generating a heat, all of this, actually. So what I'm going to do is add a couple of additional radiant pipes. And then we're just going to connect this up uh, for now, like so. And then this will be cooled as well. Um, let's deconstruct this lamp so that we don't destroy it. Now we can, well, it's already being destroyed, but we can make a new one. Crap. I was a bit too late here. Yeah, I should pay attention when I'm doing this. <laughs> okay. Got distracted. Come on, bunny. Deconstruct this thing. Finally. And we make a new one. That will be 45 degrees. And that way we have our um, lab here still. I guess we can already connect these pipes up so that when this loop is ready, we'll get at least half of uh, the packets through. But yeah, I need to, of course, suffer this pipe in the end. Let's go back here to look at this mess. Um, yeah, we're going to... Add water again, uh, super coolant again. Enable auto bottle. I uh, are they gonna? I need to clean this up first. So we're gonna put super coolant here as a five. I'm gonna make it sweep only. 
And then I'm going to sweep all of these. We have 1,000 kilograms. That's not enough. Need more. And while we're cleaning stuff up, we can actually also use three more vexillator recharges. Um, on my way back from Frigani, I got three artifacts and they actually all gave us a vexillator recharge. So let's go with our pilots, uh, nails and auto and see what they can get. Uh, maybe we can get some deep divers lungs, which is actually pretty good in space and uh, auto still needs regeneration as well but uh, let's see what we get here first deep divers lungs so uh, yeah nails is gonna use a lot less uh, oxygen now so that's great let's recharge and give the next one to auto okay auto you come here complete deep divers lungs nice so I'm going to do the last one for Otto as well. Maybe we can get a regeneration as well, uh, which would also be great in space. If he gets hurt, he can get um, healed quicker. So let's see. Either we get regeneration or beefsteak. I don't know. <clears throat> so here we is. Complete. And we get regenerative. Nice. So that is exactly what I wanted, to be honest. Let me see, did we clean up everything yet at the bottom? No, we have a couple things more to uh, sweep up. How is this here doing? I want to keep an eye on it at the start. We have six eggs here. We have zero in here. So we still have quite some space for eggs. So that looks good. But yeah, before we uh, get to this. Right, this is also now ready. So we can... Sever this pipe, as I mentioned, and we can start uh, cooling this area down. So will be very quick, because we're using super coolant, of course. But it also means that we're bringing in the heat from up here. Oh, well, it's already happened. What is the temperature here now? 33.1, and these go up to 37. So we don't have to make a cooling loop just yet. But uh, at some point, we will have to have a cooling loop for our mega farm here. Uh, at least this is now cooled down nicely. Let's clean it up. All right, looks like everything from the floor is now cleaned up. So we can continue with our trick. Uh, let's set this back to super coolant. And I did it again, my God. That is so dumb. Mm, actually, this here we might also need to cool down. Um, or is this cooled down here sufficiently? I don't think so. So let's actually add this in as well. Like so. And we can just connect these up and this as well. Yeah, that works. All right, let's try this again. Uh, maybe I'll slow it down slightly. Uh, apparently I'm getting slow uh, for some reason. <laughs> nah. Okay, this is now empty, so let's also clean out this. And the pipe can go again. <clears throat> Including the bridge. And the liquid pump, and actually... Yeah, let's do that first. This can all go, this can all go, and I guess this can all go. Yeah, should be fine. And then we can sweep everything up again. All right, we have three tons of super coolants. That should be enough, right? We have a lot of pipes to go, but that's 300 pipes. It's a lot. I think that should be enough for a cooling loop. So I'm just going to go like that. We brought a lot of plastic for ladders. Let's actually bring a bit more plastic. Let's just bring 20 tons. We have so much of it. There we go. Uh, I also brought some plug slugs here, actually. Um, but I'm not going to use them yet. Um, because we don't need constant power. Um, well, because this 
temporal tear open it doesn't work anyway we need more uh portals uh for that where do i have a portal even here i don't think i have one here to be honest do i have one on toxism somewhere i think i have one on slopilla right yeah here these mini pots how many do i have can i see that somewhere somewhere you were able to see that yeah, this is light of sight, this is obstructed, so that also doesn't help that this is obstructed. But I think once this line of sight is gone, it will tell you, ah, you still cannot charge because you don't have enough bots. Um, but yeah, let me see. Because we need to go up, uh, cancel, this is 60, 58, that's once and once down. It's 116, and then we also have, uh, maybe 3 tons is a little bit low. I'm going to bring another ton over. Uh, so I have to build this back again. Uh, okay. Oh, where did that came from? come from? Did I take 200 kilograms from here? Uh, so this is sweep only. So if I do this, then I should not sweep that up. Wow, we have eight fry eggs already in there. So we only have two, six spots, three. Oh, we have only three in here as well. Okay, we have plenty of space. There's six only there. Okay, they're actually cycling through already. The old ones are going again. Yeah, we're good. We're good to go with this. This is enough for now. Wow, we found three duplicates with skilled grilling. Interesting. And all, all three of them are biohazardous as well. What? What are the odds of that? That's crazy. But yeah, we don't want either of those. We have a cook. Um, what I'm actually looking for is someone who likes to be in space. Radiation eater, um, a loner, things like that. Because I want to have dedicated pilots at some point. But yeah, for now, these are not the ones I want. So we're going to ha have a curative tablet, or three of them. Which actually, we have a couple of here already. So now we have six. All right, that was way too often quite messy. So we're going to deconstruct this again. Um, we have... 3,700 kilograms in here, 3.7 tons. But the thing is, if we need more, we can always shoot it over. We have this interplanetary launcher uh, with 200, 200 red bolts. We can always send 200 kilograms at a time of um, super coolant if we need it. So let me check in here one more time. We have plenty of foods. Um, yeah, we have aluminum, we have gold. We should have everything we need. We have 10 tons of steel. Do we need other metals? I think steel is the most important. 10 tons should be enough for four um, volcanoes. Because we don't need an aqua tuner on everyone. We just need one, I think. One aqua tuner should be enough. With super coolant. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna just send this rocket over. Uh, these are glum. Do I want to get rid of the plug stocks in this rocket? If they get out and they start eating this metal, I'm gonna be unhappy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just move them over. And where am I gonna move them to? Let me see. I might just move them to a block like this so they can... Well, they're gonna skip over. Uh, what's a nice spot for them? Here? Nah. Maybe here at the volcano. Um, let me find the spots. I'm just gonna put them here with the <clears throat> coal generators. So let me do the other one as well. Uh, let's. That one has a move command. Where is the other one? Come here. Plug stuck. Move to. You also go here. 
and let's make sure that gets done quickly. I want to avoid any risks of metals being eaten and hydrogen being generated. That would be quite annoying. We already have polluted oxygen here. I don't want anything worse to get out of here. So, yeah. I mean, they would provide a little bit of power here, but uh, I don't think it's worth it. So I'm just going to move them over. Let them live in the wild for now. And uh, at some point, we're going to use them on the iron planetoid because we're going to have so much iron there that we'll be able to power that planetoid with these plux lux while feeding them. Maybe I'm going to actually... Uh, Breed them a bit so that I get more. Yeah. Might be something for another episode. Okay, both plug slugs are out. So let's actually go back to Frigani. Uh, I'm not going to go there fully um, because it's not going to fit in this episode. But uh, we're going to set the flights. Uh, we're going to set this to crew, uh, auto, and nails. Our buffed up crew is going to go in here. We're going to enable this building. That way they drop their suits. We have some suits in here, 600%. We have a couple there as well. Nails is in here. Auto is in here. So let's start flying. Everything ready. We have oxygen, plenty of it. And they need less of it. So very good. Let's fly. Heat. Perfect. All right. So I think I'm going to leave it here with our a nice farm for our uh, Paku. This should be enough. Well, this is enough for 60 Paku, which we don't have, even including the eggs. So we should be fine for a while. Maybe at some point we're also going to breed them so we get more. And I can make a bigger tower here. Uh, because Paco are actually really good for lime, uh, shells, um, and, th and things like that. So, uh, And this is a very compact way, I think. Well, new compact way. The old way was, of course, much more compact. But a uh, very good new compact way to still have a lot of fish in a small area. Uh, what is actually the temperature? Oh, this is actually very, a very nice temperature. All right, that was it for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet and see you in the next video.